do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Today, we have something absolutely crazy, you know what I'm saying? We have one of the wildest stories ever about this one couple, and it's, it's a super, super, super surprise at the end, apparently, but the this one couple literally had three kids, and they're... they're Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. Today, I have a video, a blind reacted video that someone sent me. They told me to react to it blindly. They said, you're never going to expect what the heck happens at the end or what the heck is told at the end. But for what he told me, this person told me, it's literally just a story about, like, the craziest situation. Like, parents should not have kids. Like, some parents should not have kids. Like, that's basically what they told me. They said it's the most crazy story in the world, though. It's not some regular degla. So, you're finna watch this. And this has, like, 5 million views on TikTok. So, that means this video is about to be extremely crazy. So, I'm excited. I'm very curious to see what the heck goes on here. So, without further ado, man, smash the freaking like button. And let's just hop right into this. Child Protective Service Workers, what is the worst case you have ever seen? Back in my mid-late 20s, I worked as a CPS agent. Specifically, I was the type to be sent to scope out living areas to see if it was suitable for the child. I think the worst living situation I've seen was this. So, I get called to this place. The report states that the house this family is living in isn't suitable for the child. It's pretty vague, so I go to the place. It's a really small house in middle of nowhere, Texas. This house looked like it had been abandoned for the last 100 years. It was essentially just a husk of a house. Rotting wood, barely stable. There isn't really a front door or front wall, so I let myself in. You know what's crazy to me? I saw this meme the other day, right? And this is completely off topic. It just makes me think about this. That it's like, you really just, like, get with another individual of the opposite sex. You have a baby. You go to the hospital. You have a baby. And they just let you walk out of there with the baby without you knowing what the heck to do. They don't know what your living conditions is. They don't know if you're homeless. They don't know if you... Got a birthday party to go to the next day. They don't care about none of that. It's just like you had a baby. It's yours. Now can figure it out. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of scary when you think about it. I'm really confused because there's no way anyone could live here. There's no cars, no signs of life. I decide to walk around the outside of the house to make sure. In the distance, I can see something that doesn't look like it belongs in a Texas desert. I walk towards it a good mile away. I get closer and notice that it's a tent. Actually, it's three tents all next to each other. Shitty tents at that. There's a bicycle leaned against one of them that's missing a wheel. There's trash everywhere, mostly beer cans and cigarette butts. There's also plenty of food wrappers, hypodermic needles and what appears to be used toilet paper. The area smells atrocious. I approach the front. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. Of the biggest tent and can hear people's voices coming from it. The voices have thick southern accents and they sound weak for lack of a better word. I can only make out two distinct voices. They both sound like adults. I stand in front of the tent and just say hello. Anybody home? I understandably scared them, because I hear what the F come from the inside of the tent. A very skinny looking man, likely in his late 20s unzips the tent. He is completely naked, and is holding a small, beat up kitchen knife. He looks high out of his mind. He asks very politely who the F are you? From inside the tent, I can see that there is a woman crouched in the corner of the tent, also high out of her mind. I couldn't even tell if she was fully conscious, but the baby she was nursing certainly was. I said hello, my name is Agent. See this is the problem, this is literally what I was just saying, like bro, you can't... It's just regular people who's not supposed to just have kids. Like, he just, he literally just pointed out that they both was just high out of their minds. They had the needles there. It was used tissue. You know what I'm saying? If you see used tissue, it's not a good environment. As long as, C if a CPS agent goes to your house and they say, you, I almost dropped my mic, and see used tissue somewhere, automatic fail them. Take the kids out of there. What the heck is used tissue doing on a freaking floor? And why, if you have a house, are you sleeping in some freaking tents with bikes put, 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 um, put up on the side of it? And then she's nursing the baby high out of her mind. Like, come on, bro. People really, they got to be like a quiz or something like that. That people got to take before they can take the baby out of there. Name, and I work with, City, Youth Protection Services. I've been called here about a poor living situation regarding children. Sir, do you have any children here with you? I'm extremely you scared You don't see the baby? Point. He I'm said the he saw the, the desert, baby. And the only item of self-defense I have is a taser. I try to keep my composure, though. He lowers his knife and steps out of the tent. Still completely naked. He said, F man. Thought you were here with the government here to take my kids and guns away. I'll give you- What the f- <laughs> This gotta be a freaking joke. Uh, this gotta be a freaking joke. What? Did he not just say- Rewind, 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 tour of the rewind. City, Youth Protection Wait, Service. Rewind, rewind, rewind. 
couldn't even tell if she was fully conscious, but the baby she was nursing certainly was. I said hello, my name is Agent, name, he said who he and is, I work where with he's from. City Youth Protection Services. I've been He said he works with Youth Protection Services. He literally stated it. Called here about a poor living situation regarding children. Sir, do you have any children here with you? I'm extremely scared at this point. I'm in the middle of the desert, and the only item of self-defense I have is a taser. This I try to keep my off. composure though. He lowers his knife and steps out of the tent, still completely naked. He said F man, thought you were here with the government here to take my kids and guns away. I'll give you a tour of the place if you want. I'm what? dumbfounded at this point, but I follow him as he walks over to unzip one of the other tents. Inside I see two children. One is unresponsive laying face down in the corner of the tent. Bro, this is just horrible, bro. This is just horrible. This is why, like, a lot of people don't deserve, not a lot, I'm not going to say a lot, let me not guess, I'm not going to say a lot of people don't deserve to have kids. But this is why it's like, this is so freaking sad. Like, so sad. Like, that's, what do you even do in that situation? Because then, like, the crazy thing is that CPS has to, I, I'm not a CPS agent, I'm assuming this is what happened. They got to go back and report, like, what they seen, and then it's going to take, like, a couple days for it to process so then the people could come and take the kids. Like, it's not an automatic, hey, y'all coming with me. And when the people trying, the, the dude that has a knife tries to stop him, he's like, I have a taser, watch out. No, he has to go back to his boss and all that, tell him the details, take the pictures or whatever like that. And the kids still got to live in them conditions. That's freaking crazy. This is ridiculous. See two children. One is unresponsive laying face down in the corner of the tent. Looks to be around five to six years old. The other one looks to be around eight to nine. And is laying in the other corner playing with a Walkman without a tape or headphones in it. I asked him if it was okay to ask his kids a few questions. He said they don't talk much, but sure. Of course I put they my don't head talk the much. Tent and ask the kid playing with the Walkman and ask, hey, what's your name? He doesn't answer. I ask his assumed father if it's all right if I tap him on the shoulder to get his attention. He said, sure. So I did. The kid looked at me with a blank expression on his face. I can immediately tell that this kid has severe developmental problems. I ask, hey friend, what's your name? He doesn't respond. I then tap the other kid who's laying face down on the blanket. He turned over and his face was completely covered in bruises. Looked like- Oh man, this is just horrible. This is just horrible. And it's crazy how like this is not just like a once in a lifetime thing. Like this happens all the time. This is just horrible, bro. Like he straight up went through a fight club. I asked him what his name was. He said Devin. I asked him where all of the bruises came from. He looked at his dad, then went back to going face down into the blanket and started sobbing. I couldn't get his attention anymore. I this is so bad. This is so bad. This is... And the kids didn't ask for this. You know what I'm saying? I wish I was like a superhero that could just save all like kids that's like going through bad situations. This is crazy. This is happening. Like while we live in our, while you watching this video right now, there's literally people that are out here just like struggling, bro. Like kids that's out here that's in horrible predicaments. I stood up from the tent and looked at the father. I asked him what was in the other tent. We started walking over to it. As we did, I noticed this horrible smell coming from it. He unzipped it and I saw a girl who couldn't have been older than four. There is a corner of the tent that is lower than the rest of it. It is full of urine. Like, to ground level just full of urine. What? She's in the corner of the tent playing with some dolls. I stand up, tell the man that I'll be right back. Just have to grab something from my car. I return to my car and call the local police. I tell them who I am and what the situation is. They asked if I felt safe stalling until the police showed up. I said yes. I talked to the father about not much in particular. I asked him why he thought the government was coming for his kids and guns. He went on this long incoherent rant about how ever since he moved here, he feared that he was going to lose his guns. What I asked he, him where what he is kept he, the what guns. Is... He said he kept them under the floorboards in the rotting house. Around this time, the police showed up. Three patrol cars full of cops drove- Bro, but like, I want to see the rest of it. ...out to the tents. The man didn't even turn around or notice until one of the officers told us to put our hands up and drop to our knees. They get processed. The kids get put in foster care. As it turns out, the couple were biological siblings and heavy meth slash heroin slash crack users. Child protective service work kids get put in foster care. As it turns out, the couple were biological siblings and heavy meth slash heroin slash crack users. What the? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. The kids get put in foster care. As it turns out, the couple were biological siblings and heavy meth slash heroin slash crack users. Bro, what? Bro, this just, what? Bro, what? So, 
they're brother and sister, and they have three kids. This, this is horrible in so many freaking. That that was crazy. That is crazy. That is freaking crazy. That is so crazy on multiple levels. I don't even know what to say. I really have nothing to say. I lit. I have no idea what that. That is. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments down below. Cause this is I have nothing to say. This is crazy. They have three kids living in horrible conditions. P five inches up in the room in the tent. One of the kids is just like mentally deformed, probably because the parents was smoking crack and heroin. The other two kids just just down bad, extremely bad, and the parents are brother and sister. I don't know what the heck to say. I don't know what to say. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. This is probably the craziest story I ever heard in my entire freaking life. Literally. Send the video, bro. If this was crazy, I'm not going to say if y'all enjoyed this. If this was crazy, smash the freaking like button. If you ever heard a story like this, if you've never heard a story like this, smash the freaking like button. That's about it. Hey, watch this video right here. Because if you like crazy videos, you will like this one. But it's, I'm spoiler alert, it's not as crazy as this video that I just freaking watched. But this one's still crazy. Watch that. That's about it, though. I'm going to see y'all. I can't believe I just watched that, bro. I'm going to see y'all out.